It is time now for Ask the Doctor when we answer our viewers' medical questions. And joining us today is Dr. Eric Bernstein. He's a laser surgeon at the Centers for Cosmetic Laser Surgery in Ardmore. Thanks so much for being with us, Dr. Bernstein. Thanks for having me. Okay, let's get to the uh, first question. It is uh, asking, I have been interested in getting Botox injections. How long do they last? Are there any potential complications? I hear they have Botox parties at the hairdresser. Is that safe? Well, it's about as safe as it sounds to get Botox at your hairdresser. Probably about as safe as it is for me to do your hair. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, not safe at all. <laughs> no, I, I recommend a medical professional, preferably a physician or a physician supervised nurse or PA. Um, the effects of Botox kind of paralyze the muscles, usually used on the upper face, around the eyes and forehead, and they last about four to eight months depending on the person. Um, side effects from Botox, uh, too much effect, you can get kind of a droopy eye, or you could get the Spock effect. Uh, bruising is a common complication, but that only lasts a few days. Okay, so how many uh, months for treatment do you need to go? Um, usually a couple times a year. Okay. Uh, I'm due. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You look fabulous. Well, David writes, I'm overweight and want to get surgery for weight loss, but my heart is in AFib. The upper left side is enlarged. Can I get the operation done with my heart in AFib? Well, AFib is atrial fibrillation. It's where the atrium, top part of the heart, isn't contracting properly. So the heart rhythm can be abnormal and the blood may not pump the way it's supposed to. Um, there are many causes for that. So the first issue is treat the cause. Thyroid disease, high blood pressure, heart disease. And then it's really up to the surgeon. But, you know, people can certainly be operated on, but that's a decision for the surgeon. Do the benefits of the surgery outweigh the, outweigh the risks. So David needs to go visit the doctor before he thinks about that surgery. Absolutely. Okay. Now, Craig writes, I have recently become very health conscious, eating lots of fruits, vegetables, low carbs. Do you think taking fish oils would be beneficial as well? I'm doing a seven fishes tonight. So <laughs> fish you get are, all your fish that you that's need. That's it. Fish are very beneficial. And fish oil, people usually refer to the omega-3 fatty acids that are in there. I would say go to a reputable source for the oil because, sadly, a lot of the fish is contaminated with pollutants. So you want a good source. Um, it is beneficial, but I think people should go to a doctor to get advice on nutrition. So a little bit, moderation, usually beneficial. Okay, I take two every day. All right. Thank you, Dr. Bernstein. I appreciate it. And if you have a medical or health-related question, we'd like to get them answered for you. Send in your questions by logging on to NBCPhiladelphia.com and search Ask the Doctor. Your question may be answered live on our show. And NBC 10 News at 6 is next, and here's Tim Lake. All right, Denise, thank you. And next tonight on NBC 10 News at 6, on this Christmas Eve, procrastinating shoppers are all scrambling right now. Meanwhile, the travel rush is rolling along, and we are counting down to Christmas with live team coverage next. And, of course, we have Glenn's all-important holiday forecast coming up. Plus... These small boxes are going to make a big difference for a lot of people this Christmas, and one area woman is behind it all. I'm Kristen Welker with the story coming up.